Welcome to my Scaling Networks Cisco review. Here we're looking at labs 2322, two, two, configuring rapid PVST. So I went ahead, I've already opened it. I let it sit for a few minutes, about four minutes. That way it's all up and running the way it needs to uh, converge in and everything. So first thing is, let's go, go to part one. Part one says hop on to switch two, get to our CLI, get to our global config mode, so configure terminal. Let's go ahead and turn on some interfaces. All right, interface range, FA06. Also, FA011. Also, FA018. We want to do a switch port mode access, and we want to turn them on, so no shutdown. All right. Now that that's done, we actually want to hop over to the next step. Let's create the appropriate VLANs, and let's assign those appropriate VLANs. Again, makes this a lot easier if we're doing this Continual steps to do this in notepad first, VLAN 10. So we're going to be doing VLAN 20, VLAN 30, VLAN 40, VLAN 50, 60, 70, 80, and 99. All right, let's hop on all the switches. Get into our global config mode on all of them. And paste them. Global config mode. Paste it. All right. Now let's do switch two. All right, all VLANs have been created as required by this guy. Next, move it on to step three. We're gonna be starting to assign them. So we're gonna be pre uh, predominantly dealing with switch two because that's the one that has hosts. So int fa06, switch port, Access VLAN 30, interface FA011, switch port access VLAN 10, last one, interface FA018, switch port access VLAN 20. All right, there we have verified that all of them have been done. Let's go ahead and do a show VLAN brief. And those are the appropriate ports. VLAN 10 is on FA11. VLAN 20 is on FA18. And VLAN 30 is on port 6. And yes, it is. So let's go down, we've done that. Let's go ahead and next we're gonna be configuring our trunk ports. Again, we're gonna be doing this on several of them so it makes it easier to do it from a notepad, FA01 through four. Switch, I cannot spell the date. Switch port mode, trunk. Switch port, trunk native 99. Native VLAN 99. We're going to go ahead and hop on all of the uh, 
switches to do that. So switch two is done. Switch one is done. Switch three is done. All right. Step five is done. Next, we need to go ahead and configure the management portion. I'm going to do this on switch one first. We want to do interface VLAN 99, IP address 172.17.99.11. We're doing it according to the document, so keep that in mind. All right, switch one is done. Switch two. Interface VLAN 99. IP address 172.17.99.12 with a slash 24 subnet. All right, lastly, switch three. Interface VLAN 99. IP address. Oh. 172.17.99.13 with again a slash 24 subnet mask. And that step is done. Lastly, let's move on to, well, not lastly, next, let's go ahead and move on to part two. What we need to do is we need to in the global configuration mode. We need to enable spanning tree mode, question mark. We want to do rapid PVST. Copy. All right, switch one is done. Switch two is done. Switch three is done. All right, that guy is good. Next, we're gonna go ahead and do the appropriate root bridge uh, election. Well, not the election, we're gonna assign primary root bridges on switch one, two, and three. And then we'll end by doing our port pass and BDU guard. All right, so switch one. Spanning tree VLAN, we want VLANs 1, 10, 30, 50, 70, root primary. On switch 3, we want spanning tree VLANs 20, 40, 60, 80, 99, root Primary. All right. Lastly is going to be switch two. We want this spanning tree VLAN 1, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 99. We want this to be our root secondary. It's going to be our backup. All right. That guy is done. We can do a do spanning tree just to make sure that it worked. I'm going to be doing this a few times, so I want to copy it. Oh, did not like that. Oh, that's because I forgot to do the show command. Let's try this again. Do show spanning tree. Got to make sure you're doing the right command. All right, we're looking at again VLAN 1, 10, which we're looking for which one of the root bridge, that's right. For VLAN 20, it gives us the link cost to the root bridge. 
which that is correct. It's still translating. Let's hop over to switch two. And these are all the secondary, so that's appropriate. Let's try one more time on switch three. All right, it's still trying to translate, so we're not gonna do the show command there, but it would show root bridge for 20, 40, 60, 80, and 99. All right, last step, let's go ahead and on switch two specifically. This is the only one with hosts. We want to do, we want to enable both port fast and the BPD, uh, BPDU guard. So interface range FA0 slash six, FA0 slash 11. FA zero slash eighteen. All right. So now that we've done that. We want spanning tree. Port fast. We also want spanning. Spanning tree. B P. B U guard. Enable. And. That's it. This lab is done. Let's check our results. Assessment items. Everything is showing good. If you have any questions about this lab, please let me know.